What's up, you two? How are you? This is Unique Divination, and you're listening to Urban Mystic Radio. It is 9.26, 11.51 a.m. Decided to come outside and just suck in the nature. Um, relax. And I'm out here. Wait a minute. Let me see. My little baby. Give me a kiss. Thank you. This is a radio. Get my little doggy, so we're outside enjoying um, the nice weather. So, I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about uh, the climate as far as spiritually um, where we're headed um, as fall comes in. So, September is almost gone. We've got a few more days in September, and we're going into... Um, August. So I want to kind of break it down uh, on a zodiac level as far as the signs and, and how we're moving. I'm sorry, I'm like playing all of my hair um, and what's going on. So we're all familiar with um, September being Virgo. Virgo stands for harvest, integration, pretty much reaping what you sow. Um, Anybody that has been motivated, has been pushing, um, you know, it feels like you just got this sudden burst of energy or just the will to get things completed and you don't know where it's coming from. It's because of the Virgo, the Virgo in you. You you want to see, you want to definitely reap what you're in here, um, what you're in here working for, things you're trying to con- uh, achieve. Um You know, uh, just like I said, focusing on harvesting things. Um, I will tell you, if you have any unresolved issues, unresolved goals, I would I would try to get them completed if you can before the month is out. It'll only be beneficial to you to work with the energy that is presented by the spirits in the universe at this time. And so we are in the month of September, and as I was saying, harvest integration um, and reaping what you sow. The Virgo is a very meticulous um, sign and attribute, very detailed, very critical, and, uh, and use these attributes. Criticism and being critical, it can be negative qualities, but if you use them in a positive manner, they will be positive. Be critical of everything you're doing. Are you doing it right? Can you do it better? You know, can I take a second look at this and 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 and, and revise it? So that's what I mean as far as being critical. Um, ask yourself, can you do better? Right? Um, these are things that I implement on myself on a regular basis. Don't beat yourself up, but just ask yourself, could I could I have done that better? Or is there another way to do this? Um like I said, if you've had any unresolved issues, court issues, if you got any unresolved court issues, get them taken care of. If you got a warrant on your head, turn yourself in and get rid of the warrant. Um, it's time to step up and, and 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 close out these things that have been haunting us or we've had on our to-do list for a very long time. A to-do list is made because you're eventually going to complete the things on your to-do list. It doesn't mean to pile up a whole bunch of stuff that you have no intention on working on. Okay, so for those of you that make to-do lists, look through that list, see what you get crossed off before the month is over. Um, We're actually in Libra right now, I believe. A celebrity, Russ, I think he had his birthday. He's a Libra. So even though um, it is Libra season, we're still lingering in the Virgo effects, right? And this is cusp for some people. So those Virgo Libra cusp, whew, I feel bad for y'all, but you know, those are good traits. Those are good traits. Be a lot of a person to handle, a Virgo Libra cusp. Um, any business issues, any any business issues, um, if you're trying to start a business and you've got two or three things that you need to finalize before you can do it, do it. Go ahead and knock those things out the way so that we can start 
working on the Libra Zodiac sign attributes. Libra deals with karmic law, way and measure, practicality, um, and basically what that means, balance, Libra's the scales. So anything you do moving forward, and in this month, if you want to stick to the vibe of, you know, the months, make sure that you're doing it in moderation and you're doing it in balance. You're balancing things out. You're not trying to overwork yourself. You're not underworking yourself, but you're you're, you're doing just enough to keep that balance, keep the scales balanced. Um, weigh and measure. Weigh and measure. Again, we want to take a look at the scales. Weigh and measure. This is equivalent to our energy. Are you putting out energy and you're not getting it back? All right, especially dealing with relationships, people, places, and things. Um, are you getting back what you're putting out? You know, if you have a relationship with somebody anybody, work, a significant other, family members, friends, if you're putting in more energy than what you're giving out, and this has been this way for a while, you need to reevaluate and reassess why you're giving out so much energy. Um, for those of us that love to help, Virgos love to help, Libras love to help, sometimes we can do, we can help too much and leave us fucking depleted of anything. So you need to realize that you have to take care of yourself before you take care of anybody else, right? So definitely remember that. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. Weigh and measure. You can't give to anybody if you don't have anything to give. Weigh and measure the scales. This is your energy. This is what you're trying to do for other people. Where does it leave you? Right here with nothing. So remember that regardless of if you feel like I can help this person I want to do for this person, where is it going to leave you? Right? There's nothing wrong with wanting to help people, but if it comes to if it comes down to leaving you stuck, um, no energy, feeling depleted, you know, feeling like you're being used, feeling like definitely, you know, this person doesn't care. I did all of this and I and I've got nothing in return. And I'm not saying that when you do things for people, you should expect something in return. I'm saying um you don't want to continue to give to yourself, give, 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 and you're depleting yourself. And on top of that, you're getting nothing back. So as far as weigh and measure, think about that, you know, um, everything's an energy exchange. And for the most part, it should be somewhat equal. Um, and just remember that practicality, doing what's practical, doing what makes the best, the most logical thing to do. And and it works and it fits without, you know, without it being an extra. Practicality is about simplicity and it's about doing what works, right? So just remember that. Be practical in everything. Don't overthink. Um, do what you do and make sure it's the simplest way to do it. You don't want to do anything extra. You don't want to do anything hard. Um, just practical. Um, I say um a lot in these videos. <laughs> I should have y'all count how many times I say um. I might go back and start counting how many times I say um in this video. Forgive me, y'all. I'm working on delivery, communication, and speech. But this is not easy. It's not easy. I have no experience, no training in this. I, I imagine none of us really do. So just bear with me. Um. While I'm on my path to get better with these videos. But um, like I said in my previous video, I do this for y'all. I put these out for motivation to let everybody know that we're not alone. Uh, and to just keep pushing and striving. Alright, so I shared my Coven's monthly affirmation with you guys for the month of September. We're moving into October. There's going to be a whole new set of affirmations. I implore you guys... Um, to look into the coven for my magical people, for people that, you know, want to be involved in magic, they need a place to study, they need like-minded people, come join. Level two is going to get you the full moon ritual call. I'm going to tell you that now. Level two is the level that you want to be on because there's so much stuff. There's an exclusive platform. Um, we've got a meditation call, and then we do the full moon ritual. 
and then um, I'm implementing giveaways too. So it's very exciting. Everybody in the coven has just been elevated since we put this coven together. Um, I've been elevated myself. Business is picking up tremendously. Um, I also started doing event parties. So if you guys are interested in having a tarot reader at an event or a party, go to my website, www.urbanmystic.com, and just um, there's a quote thing to fill out, and go to my frequently at, um, asked questions page to figure out what kind of events I do and, and how to book me, okay? So I'm leaving you all with that. I am going to be at my matrix job today. Um, I may be back to do some live uh, free tower readings on Instagram. Probably, I'm not going to give you a date. So I will sometime this week. We still got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So you guys be blessed. Leave some comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please click the button and subscribe. And like I said, go check out my website, and I hope all goes well for everybody, okay? Alrighty, I will talk to you all later. Over and out.